Welcome back to Mr. Gard's Maths class. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at calculating percentage change. On the left hand side of the screen, you're going to see a few important bits of information, which wouldn't be a bad idea if you wrote these down. First one in the top left is profit. So profit is determined by finding the selling price minus the cost price. So that should give you the difference. And if we're talking about a profit, if you went to a shop and you bought something off the shelf, chances are they paid less than that price to get it. Therefore, the shop makes a profit. A loss is when the cost price is subtracted from the selling price. So someone makes a loss there. For example, if you buy something and then sell it for a lower price, you take that price off, you work out how much money you've lost. So if you sell something secondhand, for instance. Now, looking at the blue section, percentage change is determined by working out what the change is, as in how much it changes, divided by the original value. That will give you a fraction, and then you multiply it by 100%, or Oops. 100 over 1. Although that didn't quite come out as I might say. Percentage profit in green is the profit amount, so how much money you make, divided by its original value, again multiplied by 100. And percentage loss in red is the loss amount divided by the original value. So you can see in all three, the blue one effectively is the same as the green and the red. The green is just about how much money you make, the red is about how much money you lose, but overarching is the blue one, the change divided by the original value. So if we have a look at the example over in the green, if $90 becomes $135, what is the percentage change or the profit? So according to our formula before, the percentage change is the change, which is 135 minus 90, which equals $45. So the change is $45, or we can use it in the profit formula and say the profit is 45 divided by the original value, which is 90. We multiply that by 100. I know that 45 divided by 90 is a half times 100 equals 100 divided by 2, which is 50%. So the profit as a percentage is 50%. For this next example in red, what is the percentage loss if your car reduces from $5,920 to $3,000? Again, the key here is to work out what the loss is. So we need to go 5920 minus 3000. That will give us $2,920. That's our loss. What that is as a percentage, we need to go the loss divided by the original value multiplied by 100. So let's see if we can simplify some of this first of all. Let's cancel those out. Speed up the process, 292 divided by 592 is actually 0 0.49324324 recurring. And we multiply that by 100, so we're going to move the decimal place two positions, one, two, making the number bigger. So we should get 49.32. 4, that bit recurs, but I'm going to get more. 
and that is our percentage decrease. So it's nearly halved because it was nearly 6,000 minus 3 down to 3,000. So if we wanted to just round it, we could write it as 49%. Hopefully that's made that clear. Again, like previous lessons, have a go at making up your own numbers and seeing what you get. Even use some real life scenarios. Find a magazine, plug in the numbers and see what percentages you get. Thank you for listening and that's the end of this larger unit. Goodbye.